What I'd like to talk about now is uh, Buddy's uh, approach towards the drum set, uh, his conceptual feelings. Uh, he made use in keeping time of the hi-hat and of the ride cymbal. Uh, he played basically four beats to uh, a measure with the bass drum, and he also punctuated it. In playing with a big band, uh, he also used to phrase a lot with the brass uh, and also the reeds with his left hand. Uh, he would play along with them. He motivated, he was never behind the beat, he always kind of played on top of the beat. Um, I'll try to give you some examples of that in just playing some time. <laughs> In soloing, uh, as he got older, he became more of a musician and he became more tasteful and artistic. Um, the problem with a lot of guys who play drum solos today is that everything has to be fast and everything has to be loud. But Buddy had complete control of the instrument because he could play softly, but he could also play quickly and he used to use his cymbals as an example of that. Um, he would grab an idea and work off that. Earlier I had talked about paradiddles. He, likes to, he liked to play paradiddles, and he used to play a lot of paradiddles on his cymbals. Let me just give you some ideas rhythmically of using a hi-hat or the cymbals, as opposed to playing everything on the drums, all right? So we're going to start out with just a regular tempo. to play things dynamically, not just rhythmically. Um, he would play something loud, he would play something soft. Um, that's the artistic way of playing the drums, not just everything <laughs> slamming and pounding and playing as hard and as fast as you possibly can. So, uh, 
try to remember that approach, that you don't have to play everything fast and loud, and that each instrument has its own voice, and depending upon what you play on it, makes a sound. But he, when he talked about playing drum solos, he talked about telling a story. And every story has a beginning, it has a middle, and his had a hell of an ending. That was the way he described it. If you play as loud as you can, as fast as you can, in the very beginning, then you have nowhere to go. Uh, it's just like if Maynard Ferguson, the trumpet player, played the very highest, the loudest note he could play to start off with, he's already reached his climax. So you need to start out and build and try to uh, pace yourself towards the finale, and the finale should be the best that you can possibly play, the fastest you can possibly play, the loudest you can possibly play, but at least try to tell a story. And uh, Buddy told a story. When he was in a bad mood, he played viciously sometimes. Uh, when he was in a very good mood, he would play comically, where he would actually play things rhythmically and uh, you'd laugh. So. Uh, Think along those terms, that not everything is just fast and loud. It uh, also can be soft uh, and delicate, and try to tell a story. What I'd like to do now is share with you 